I want to talk about your side plank, side hover. It's a tricky exercise, especially if you don't have as much strength around your waistline, as much strength in the obliques, which are our side abdominals. Don't feel pressured to do some big version of this exercise. The goal is to build your strength. So start from an option that allows you to have very strong, centered, structured form. And then as you gain the strength, you can add the progressions. Be patient, this takes time. And while you're doing any core exercise, engage your pelvic floor. Really lift up from these lower muscles. Pay attention to your breath, to how your body is feeling. Is your body in alignment? Is everything nice and centered and strong? Don't just jump into a side hover. Set up for success. Side hover on the elbows. Bottom arm is down. Elbow is stacked right into the shoulders. Shoulders are nice and strong. Chest is lifted. Before you even move at all, you're gonna make sure that you're lifting from the bottom hip. So let's lift the hips up. I've got both my knees bent. This would be option one. You can also, if you're feeling wobbly in this option or at any time in a side plank, take the top arm, side plank, side hover position, take the top arm and use it to stabilize you. If you do this, just make sure you're not rounding forward and taking the work out of the side body where we want it. Stay really lifted and tall. Again, lifting from the bottom hip in this option, both my knees are bent and they're together, holding for however many seconds your trainer has assigned you. Option one, when you're ready to progress, you extend your top leg and kick your kettlebell. Just kidding. <laughs> Same deal, lifting up. And whenever we do these side hovers, we wanna think about our body lifting up and staying in this frontal plane motion. We don't want to be pushing back and we don't want to be pushing forward. Imagine your body between two panes of glass, a really strong, long lateral line. So this would be option two. Same thing, the hand can come down. When you're ready to progress from that, you can stack the feet, you can scissor the feet. So this would be your feet stacked. Again, just when you start to droop through the hip, and maybe if you're wonky donkey, go back down until you're at a level that you can do really well. You can also scissor the feet. So that's your plank hover, side hover. If you wanna do it plank style, it means you take your elbow off the ground and you're gonna do the same dang thing, friends. Level one right here, both knees on the ground, lifting from the bottom hip, level two, Extending the top leg, keeping that long line, keeping that work long, not forward to back. Side to side, side to side, all the way. And then maybe you're scissoring the legs after a while. Maybe you stack the feet. When you do this, press hard into the arm that's down and lift through the arm that's lifted. Use everything. You're working your shoulders here. So many stabilizing muscles, your abs, your legs, everything. A lot of options, as the same as before, if you need to put the top arm down, go for it. Focus on your breath, focus on your core engagement, and enjoy.